What's up, friends and family? So, let me take a sip of my bomb ass mojito. Then let's get started. First, allow me to address the idiots. For the dude who went online and said he paid $35 for wings at Flip Flop, you're an idiot. My people responded to you already, but I just had to tell you, hearing from my, my, my mouth to your ears, you're an idiot. For the dude that said, oh, I need you to, Flip Flop's been open for two years, a little over two years. I've been on YouTube one year. If you watch anything, I've said I was doing events and parties here for a long time. I was the go-to guy, go guy for information before YouTube. I just put it on YouTube because I felt more people needed to know. Here's my thing. I call anybody out that has a problem with me. You can come down here. I'm sitting right here every day in Flip Flop at my laptop. I'm the bald head light skin guy. Okay? So, shout to all my people for what you, I think I made a mistake. It wasn't about hate. It was about stupidity. Trust me when I tell you love to all you guys. The love far outweighs the hate. Trust me, it definitely does. I get a lot of hate, but so what? That's miserable people in their miserable lives that can do nothing but hate on another person who's actually living a good life and wants to live. I want, I want better for you. Anyway, so the love outweighs the hate. What I was upset about was that any idiot with a camera and Wi-Fi can jump on YouTube and tell you whatever they want to tell you. No particular person. I'm talking about everybody. Believe it or not, there's a YouTuber that if he comes to Sasua, he will, he's going to get arrested. He was already in a town meeting years ago, and they've con continuously seen his videos and what he talks about about the town. Then the YouTubers who want to show the strip. They have internet in Dominican Republic. They watch YouTube too. Have you ever noticed why I don't show certain things on my channel? I told you, just keep myself safe. If we've learned anything, everybody's watching. Internet is open to anybody with Wi-Fi. So anyway, so that's my, my thing. You know, people, people do things for likes and views, and that's cool, man, but is it really worth your freedom? I mean, is it, is it really? I could tell you a lot of stuff right now. I could, I could really throw a lot of people under the bus, but that's not how I get down. I do my own thing. Now, there's two things that I've misconstrued on this YouTube thing. One being how safe it is in DR. Yes, DR is super safe. But I look at it from a different angle. And me and my friend had this conversation. I'm from South Jamaica, Queens. Everywhere is safer to me than South Jamaica, Queens. Or New York City, for that matter. So I say things are safe, but I'm sort of a big guy, I guess. People say I'm a big guy. I carry myself with confidence. I'm not afraid of nothing and nobody. So my mindset on safety and fear or danger is different than most people. So when I say it's safe, yeah, I don't feel, I don't feel threatened. Um, I had a conversation with a dude the other day. He was like, you're certain parts are dangerous. I was like, I'm not telling you go to the hood. I'm just telling you as a whole, the country's safe. So that's one thing I've misconstrued my personal feelings and, and my personal life as far as how I feel about safety compared to what you may feel about safety. Number two, what I also failed to realize was I've been here a long time. So as I've seen almost every single place in this town open and close once or twice, these other guys haven't seen that. So for me, it's no big deal. The sky is not falling. And some of these YouTubers are actually responsible for what's going on in the strip. All the videos, the town, they, they, go, on, they go on the internet and look at this stuff and they go, look, look, look what the town's become. No, nobody realizes that though. Now, I am offering my service. Before I go into this, I'm offering my service. I offer it to everybody. One time fee, $39.95, PayPal, Cash App, check, cashier's check, or cash. To show you how to move without one block. We've said it a million times. No, Sasua will not die. It will never die. All they asking is the nightlife move to the other side of town. That's all they're asking. Now let's get into the real info that you should know. So at this very moment, a few spots on that one block are closed. You guys notice already? It's been put out there by every single person on YouTube. Second, every business is in court since yesterday, working it out, trying to open back up. As you know, once you get closed, it, you gotta go through a process. I won't, someone said it in the comments uh, earlier, don't be surprised if everything's open in a month, a week, who knows? No one knows. No one knows. So they can't tell you nothing. I'm in touch with certain people that know and they don't know. 
So how the, how the hell does these other guys know? Anyway. Another mojito break. So, all this stuff is going on. As I told you guys, they go, so Flip, what do we do? What do we do? Oh my God, what do we do? The sky is falling, it's over. No. During the daytime, you have this side of Sasua. The beach, a couple restaurants on this side, flip flop, of course. And then at nighttime, which if you guys realize, the strip didn't really start going on until about 7, 8 o'clock. So about 7, 8, 9 o'clock, whenever you feel like, you can start heading down that way for whatever nightlife. Casino, High Caribbean, a couple spots, they're open down there. New York City drink is a Dominican bar. So that's for now. I've seen all this over and over again, so that's probably my frustration because it's like, come on, man, this happens all the time. It's nothing new. You guys just start panicking. So Sue is still here. That one block is gone. But if you need be, I will show you how to move without that one block. Now, we just had an epic, I mean epic Halloween weekend. I think I saw the strip once. I think dudes that were involved in these, in these events saw the strip once or twice. Went to classicals once. I know I went once. I mean, the strip is not the end all be all. This is a huge town. Small town compared to other towns, but it's still a big town besides one block. So, basically, if you feel Sasu was dead, cancel your trip, go somewhere else. But there's also more that you can do because um, this, this town is much bigger than just one city block. I know everybody's so accustomed to the one city block and everybody needs the one city block. But like I said, contact me, hire me. I guess like my man E calls it rent a homie. You know, get you get you a flip flop rent a homie and I'll show you I'll show you how to do it big without the one block. Cause I pretty much don't need that block. Most of the dudes I know don't need that block. You know? So it is what it is. So that's the info. We'll see what happens. As I said, no one can tell you what's happening because no one really knows. Everybody's trying to figure it out. And just to reiterate what I said since people want to put words in my mouth, I never said it wouldn't close. I said all this time they've been trying and have been unsuccessful. And I did say when it does happen, they're coming with military. And I did say when it does happen, you just adapt and move down the road. That's exactly what I said. If you actually watch the videos and listen to my words, Instead of combining all these YouTubers together and just taking all the information and mixing it up in your head, you will understand that this is what I said. Because I knew there was a possibility it could happen. There's always a possibility. It's been a possibility for eight years. But guess what? It just now happened. When they closed Rumba, they said it was the end of the world. When they closed Eladdin, they said it was the end of the world. When Classico closed two different times, or three times, excuse me, they said it was the end of the world. It's not the end of the world. Sasua is going to continue going on, continue thriving. All they ask is that the quote-unquote nightlife move down the road. Will these spots open back up? Stay tuned. We don't know. Maybe your favorite YouTuber knows. Maybe someone's going to come up and put a video. Oh, they're back open. We'll see. But for now, if one block changes your trip, then there's, there's more problems than just a sewer. And that's just me being honest. Not being arrogant, not being stupid, not being cocky. But I mean, come on. One block? There's so much more to do in this town. And like I said, there's, there's clubs going down that road, man, down, down the other, other, other end. At the end of the night, 8, 9 o'clock, you want to head down there, party up. Party time. I'm going to be partying tonight. I'm hoping to be partying in Classicals. I was told I, I, I might be, but I can't tell you nothing because it's being processed. All the business owners are, are working to get things back together. That's all. It's, that's all it's the only information you could be told because there's nothing else to tell you. But yes, that's me. Sorry for the frustration. I mean... I had this big Halloween weekend. I got this big birthday weekend coming up. I'm stressed. I'm tired. And it's annoying to watch people jump on bandwagons and, and, and ride waves and trends. You know what I'm saying? And like I said, no one personal. I don't care. I don't care about none of these dudes. Not one. Daoud, Bo Rakes, those are my homies. We actually will be starting Car Model Talk coming up soon, which is just us sitting down, chopping it up in front of different car models in the country, uh, giving you some info. You know what I'm saying? So stay tuned for Car Model Talk. Um, but you know, it's just, I'm out here having fun, man. I mean, I'm tired, but you know, as long as these events go good, you know, if, if you notice, none of my events really involve the strip, except the one night at Classicals for my birthday I was supposed to have uh, next week. But if it goes to the casino, it goes to the casino. 
I still got a huge VIP, so it don't matter. You guys be good. I appreciate all the love. Trust me when I tell you I do. Mr. Flip Flop, I'm